In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can configure classification management. Classification management allows me to go into my file system and specify certain settings against my files that I can then use for file system management and also security. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a classification property. So in order to do that in server manager, I'm just going to come to tools. And then within tools, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for my file server resource manager. So we'll launch this up. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just come to classification management, expand this up. Then we we'll select classification properties. And we'll right click classification property. And what we're going to do here is just create a local. Next thing to do is just fill out our little table. So what we've done here is we've called this one confidential. It's going to assign a confidentiality value of either yes or no. And as you can see here, yes or no for the property type and the value is yes or no. So this point here, we'll just select OK. Now we've done that, we need to create a classification rule. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come to our classification rules. Next thing to do is just right click. And what we're going to do here is we are going to create a classification rule. Brings us into wizard, so we'll just start filling out the table. I'm going to call this confidential payroll document, so I'm just going to classify any documents containing the word payroll as confidential. Slight spell mistake. Then we'll come to the scope tab, and what we need to do here is we just need to specify some settings on the scope tab. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to select the add button, and what we want to do here is just specify one of the folders on our server. So we'll scroll this down a little bit, and what we're looking for here is we're looking for E drive, lab files, and then data. So we'll select OK at that point there. Now we're in the classification tab. So we're going to go for our content classifier as the way to assign property for the files. We're going to go for confidential, and we're going to specify a value of yes. And at this point here, we'll now just click our configure button. So what we're going to do here under expression type, we're going to click on our little drop down here. And what we want to do here is we just want to specify this as a string. And then if we just come to our expression, all we want to do here is we want to type in payroll. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. And we'll select OK again. So we've now created our classification rule. So the next thing to do here is just now modify our classification schedule. So we'll right click our classification rules and what we want to do here is we just actually want to configure our classification schedule. So we'll just set up our schedule. So we're going to see here we're going to enable this to run fixed schedule 8.30 weekly every Sunday. Not going to bother with any of the other settings here. We will generate all our log files. We will generate reports. So we'll select OK at this point here. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually just run all of the rules now. So if we right click at this point here and all we'll do is we'll click on run classification with all rules now. What we'll do here is we'll run the classification in the background. Click OK. Now what we've done, we've run our report. Have a look through this. As we can see here, we don't have any files containing the word payroll. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.